Good morning, Azalea. <laughs> oh man, it's early. Sometimes I get tired in the morning, but looks like today I don't get time to rest. Most mornings I don't have time to rest. This little nugget wakes me up bright and early at 6.30 every day. She stayed in our bed last night because she um, was a bit fussy um, earlier in the night and just snuggled one night. I do love her snuggles. She's dressed all fancy and we're making some breakfast. Pop's already just left to go to work. We're gonna be here on the farm. I'm gonna get some things done with Azalea and do some work. Yeah, isn't that right? Bye bye. I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we can finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. so full now. <laughs> no way. I will speak with your mouth for you, Grupo. So while Azalea finishes up some breakfast, I've just been starting to get ready for the day. I'm probably gonna make some coffee. Do you have any milk and I like milk in my coffee so I'm gonna quickly make some oat milk. Mm. <laughs> I think probably every parent knows what a good cup of coffee in the morning means means energy and life. To keep up with the small minions that rule our worlds. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Although, yeah, kind of. I don't always finish this big old cup, but it depends what kind of night it's been, or morning it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be an entire cup kind of morning. <laughs> It's about mid-morning, we just got back from the chickens. Azalea's constantly hungry for more snacks, more snacks, more snacks. Yeah! <laughs> so we're gonna make um, um, something for the recipe book. Um, Can you video mama? Okay, you hold it. We're gonna make something for the recipe book um, and it's gonna be like baked beans on toast. Classic, like English style, reminding me. What like. <laughs> We've been boarding school, um, except more alternative. And the baked beans here in the States, I hate with a passion. They're just too sweet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that mm -hmm. and this is what I'm making it with. Northern beans, some tomato sauce, tofurkey here, mushrooms, spinach, tomato slices, and avocado, and I might throw an egg on there as well. Zalia yeah. is snacking, yeah. or, or was snacking, <laughs> on some avocado and tomato slices. You don't want the tomato? That's fine. Move out the way. And there you have it. Breakfast. Mmm. -hmm. With some coffee, milk, and a bit of sugar. And a little stick of butter in cases. Time to take some pictures for the cookbook. You ready to eat? 
Now comes the best part of the day, hey? That's what I'd say. Breakfast number two is this. Some beans with veg, tomato, and Mama's gonna then eat her display that I made. Delish. Is it yummy? That's a mushroom. Nom, 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 nom. Yum, that is what you call a delicious meal. Finished all of mine. Azalea pretty much ate all of hers, just about. Time to relax, digest, play a bit, probably call some yeah. family and chill it out. Who's fancy again? Yeah. Wow, twirl. Can you twirl? <whistles> Let me see your front. Ooh, where are you going? Wah, boom. Looks like good activity. Today we'll be doing a mic test. Let's see how they look inside. Sometimes I find the weirdest little things hanging on the side of the hive. This is called a varroa mite test. Essentially, we take a sample of bees, we cover them in powdered sugar, and it causes the varroa mites, which are a huge, nasty, nasty pest, causes them to fall off. So, when they fall off, we can take this jar, turn it upside down and shake it, and the varroa mites will fall out. And then we can count the varroa mites, letting us know what the infestation rate is. This is really helpful in keeping bees alive these days. As you can see, I'm wearing my veil today. It's a little wonky, I'm not used to wearing this thing. But you'll normally find in the summer and in the fall, bees can be a little bit more, hmm, what's the word? Hmm. Emotional. <laughs> During the summer and fall, there's a lot of times a lack of resources and they start to go into winter prep mode, which means they need to defend what they've collected during the spring. Needless to say, they can be a little bit more testy, and so oftentimes you'll be see me wearing, at the very least, a veil during this time of year. First inspection down. We had one varroa mite show up in our test, which is good. Once we show about seven, eight, or nine, that's when we start to have issues. Now, on to the next location. One of my favorite locations to come to is places where people have gardens. Um, and this one in particular is amazing. We got like a miniature orchard over here, beautiful flowers, wild raspberries, it's amazing. And then we have our hive right here. You just woke up from your nap, what time is it, boo-boo? Smooth, smooth time? <laughs> you gonna make it up there? <laughs> yeah. Chef Azalea and Mama Koala assistant sous chef. So I've been really enjoying the Navitas superfoods. So we have the hemp protein powder and then also this was kind of like a splurge and I thought I'd try something different. Uh, it's a bit interesting with the vanilla flavor. I've grown to like it and it's got a lot of different superfoods in there. So that's really yummy and good for Azalea. But today we are going to be making a green smoothie. So let's see what we're gonna put in it. Uh oh, not an okra. Kale from the garden. Big old chunk of bananas that are frozen in there. Pineapples in there. This is some of that oat milk we made this morning. About a cup of that. Pineapple. We'll just probably put about a tablespoon of each of these superfoods. Mm -hmm. We'll probably blend that up and there's always a little bit extra in there. As you can see, Pops has a smoothie in here that's frozen. We like to just make batch smoothies, especially if there's a bit extra. Yeah, yeah we'll put it in a smaller cup and save it for Azalea for like tomorrow so we don't have to make a smoothie every day. Smooth, smooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's blend this thing up, huh? Say yummy. I don't know that you need to watch us eat food, but this is what we do now, so it's like lunch. Mm. Mm. Yummy. 
Is it Pops? Back. Pops? <gasps> Yay, he's back from beekeeper. Da, da, na, 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 na. Welcome home, father. Miss you guys. <laughs> Miss you. What's for lunch? Well, I was gonna eat beans and toast. I was very excited about it, but I'm in charge of cleaning the old leftovers out. So, it's gonna be pasta. Again, Juby wants to make enough pasta to last for like a month. And so, hey, look, we had to make it for the picture, so we made it like in a skillet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Again. You don't eat leftovers, do you, princess? <laughs> <laughs> Chorizo from the Trader Joe's. It's like a soy base. It's actually really yummy. And you don't need much of it actually. What's lunch without dessert? This is some of that key lime pie that I made. This is going to be in the recipe book. Delicious. Somebody had some energy from the smooth smooth. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you have to take pleasures. In terms of eating and diet and routine and all that good stuff, mine's a little bit all over the place. But oftentimes you'll find I don't eat in the morning. I don't know, I just kind of go with what I feel. And in the morning for me, whenever I eat, <clears throat> it kind of makes me just feel really super full and super tired. And normally eat around 10.30 or 11. That's what works for me and that's what I like. That's what makes me feel real good. That's why you didn't see me eat anything this morning either. Just drink your coffee. Time for a snack. I think Azalea likes yogurt just about as much as I do. I've really been liking this brand that you got me, Chobani. Mm. Yogurt snack? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're filming. Say hello. Yeah, this is, I think I added it. Thank you for vacuuming the floors there. I appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Thank you. So we're getting Zeze one of our favorite meals ready for dinner. It's about 5.30 now and so, what she loves to eat, almost all the time, is rice, some seasoned black beans, and then to green it up, we get some broccoli with salt and umami. Mm. You hungry? You ready to eat? Eat, yeah. Woo. Mom, you going on your bike ride? Yeah, I'm going on a bike ride. I just to finish this one MailChimp email. Bye. Some work. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I love you. I'll no, you good. Mwah. So I also indulged in a sweet piece of that kulam pie and it was delish. Yeah, I don't like to eat late. I'm kind of the opposite of Justin. I like to eat most of my food like earlier in the day and less so much into the evening. I feel like Justin eats like a last minute snack at like 11 o'clock at night and I would sleep really badly and definitely have like nightmares. I'll probably make some tea when I get back and call it a day. Thank you for that. Very loud background noise, babe. Oh, yeah. And, and, <laughs> oh, I'm putting Azalea to bed tonight, and I guess she didn't really eat much of her dinner, did she? She might eat later. She's been eating later as well. She's a bit like you. 
Azalea is the queen of eating late later and later this girl apparently is not tired she didn't quite finish her rice and bean dish um, and we attempted to get her rested and ready for bed so we've already brought her but she's still hungry did you say you wanted to eat eat what are you having i'm not making you an eggy but i'm making some toast with a bit of butter you literally have eaten almost more food than I have today. It's impressive. I don't know, I guess we're in their sleep. I'm not sure where Justin is. I think he stepped out to close the garden. I may have fallen asleep. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna make myself a pot of tea. And I just thought I'd share with you guys. I've been sipping on this new blend that I added to the boutique. And I'm really excited about it. It's perfect for like early evening or in the day, just any of those times when you feel like you need to rest. And I just brew my tea in a cast iron pot like that. Dinner is served. Mm, that's a little bit about what we eat in a day. To be completely honest, it was a day that was a little bit out of normal. But sometimes you have those days whenever you get busy. We often eat a well-rounded diet. And we normally eat together. We normally eat together? Dinner. Dinner? Or lunch. Or lunch? Maybe even breakfast. Maybe even breakfast. But today? But today? You were working and Azalea ate like all day. Azalea eats all day, every day. That's just a given. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let Juby say the, same, the, the next part. Here she is. She looks great. I'm tired. I wanted to end this video like two hours ago, but Justin still hadn't eaten dinner yet. Anyhow, we hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let us know if you want us to do another what we eat in a day. It was fun to document and keep up with what we snack on and munch throughout the day. So yeah, let us know if you're into it and you want to see more of what we eat. For dinner, I don't normally eat key lime pie cheesecake, but you know, c'est la vie, and you only live once, copy the right? Cheesecake every day. Plus it's with cashews, selfie cheesecake. <laughs> Anyhow, goodbye.